Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Have you ever felt like that at some point your drawings or paintings look amazing and the other time you feel like you can't paint at all? Sometimes it might even feel like you're going backwards with your progress and it just feels weird, right? I mean, you just put so much time and effort into practicing and your artwork looks worse than the previous attempts. So you're like, uh, what's going on, right? I've personally been there multiple times. It's like, kind of like a love and hate relationship with your art. But I have good news for you because whenever this happens, you're not actually getting worse. You're actually improving. You might be thinking right now, um, huh? What are you talking about? Let me show you what I mean by that. If you look at the graph right here, it shows you that art is pretty much like a cycle. We go through art highs and art lows. And at the beginning of your painting journey, you feel like you're improving, you like your art and your artwork in general seems to getting better and better. And during this time, you go through an art high. This means your skill at making art is currently higher than your skill is at evaluating your art. That's because your ability to see is still catching up to your art skills. So when time goes by and you keep practicing, your skill level might be still around the same because it just takes time and practice to get better. But during this particular time, your ability to see and perceive your art catches up. And as a result, you feel like your art is actually getting worse. So during this time, you go through an art low because you feel like you're terrible at drawing or painting, but in reality, your ability just to evaluate and critique your art got better and it's at a higher level at that time, which means you've improved. But during this time, we usually feel like we are in a creative rut, a block, because we feel like we are not making any progress. What's the point? We start comparing ourselves to others and we just put so much pressure onto ourselves that we completely feel like we don't know what to paint and we don't even feel like creating anything at all. And that's why I believe it's so important to save all your art from the past and really look at them with fresh eyes. Because now you might feel like you didn't get better at all because you pretty much can see it. So if you pause, look at your art from months or years ago and maybe even recreate it to really see how much you have actually improved because you will see it. So remember, whenever you feel like you're not getting better, you seem like you're going backwards in your progress, you're actually not. It's just that the way you see your art improves and your skill is in the process of catching up. And during the time where you're in an art high and you like your art, be aware that at some point the way you see your art will catch up and you'll be completely blind to your progress again. So there will be always these ups and downs in your painting journey and that's okay, it's part of the journey. And whenever you are in your art low and you don't like your art, don't use this time to bash yourself or to question your abilities. Use the time and the ability to critique your art to improve your skills. Look at what exactly you don't like. What can you improve? Is there something wrong with the colors, composition? Did you add too much or too little to your painting? Did you overwork it or didn't even finish it yet and you judge it too early? so many ways how you can critique it. It's, it's just the perfect time to look at your art with your new abilities to see and use the knowledge to improve your art skills. So whenever you feel like you're going backwards with your art skills, it's not the case at all. You're actually continue improving on those two areas and making and seeing your art. And sometimes you simply need a break from your painting. If you're working too long on your artwork, you also can't really evaluate it properly. So take a break and then go in with fresh eyes again. And remember, the painting you're waking up to is not the same. And sometimes we're just too hard on ourselves. We always strive for perfection that it's not even achievable. We also want it to be even better than it is now, immediately. But remember, you will always think that this could be better. But you need to learn to be satisfied with the way it is because it's good enough. 
So remember, it could always be better, but you're satisfied with the way it is now because it's good enough for now. If you punish yourself for every painting you don't like, it may stop you from trying new things. In the end, you'll either stick with what you feel safe painting and get bored, or stop altogether. So be kind to yourself. And if you need support and encouragement along your journey, feel free to join my free Facebook group with like-minded people. You can find a link in the description box down below. I really hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.